Today marks a new era of divided government as the 116th Congress gets sworn in. But it also marks a new chapter in Washington, ushering in more diversity and a record number of women set to serve on Capitol Hill. Among those making history, a former military helicopter pilot and former CIA officer. Also being sworn in to what some are calling the Badass Caucus, Chrissy Houlihan of Pennsylvania. She's one of them, and she is a retired Air Force captain. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, first, congratulations to you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. You're the first woman ever to represent Pennsylvania's 6th District. You're the mother of two grown daughters, entering the most diverse Congress in history. What does this mean to you today? It's incredibly uh, important to me and an incredible honor to be representing the people of the 6th Congressional District in this way. And I'm uh, very much uh, looking forward to serving with an incredibly diverse community of people who not only are women, but as you mentioned, are veterans. I'm also an engineer. STEM professionals are joining the ranks in larger numbers than before. And I'm really looking forward to bringing all of that diversity on behalf of the people of my community and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania to Washington. Now, you are a former Air Force captain. I have to ask about this club that you and others formed during the campaign, Female Veterans and Service Members. You called it the Badasses. I have a particular affinity for that because I do a series on CNN.com called Badass Women of Washington. Tell me about that club that you formed. Well, you know, a lot of us have been running for office or had been running for office for a long time and had been sort of hearing of one another in various times and places. And we eventually got to be friends on the campaign trail and realized, I think, something that's important for the Congress of today, that we were stronger together than we were separately. And so we sort of unified ourselves under this common uh, mantle and man mantra uh, to be able to talk about the message of what we were trying to accomplish as women, as veterans, uh, to be able to bring back some Senate, some Senate civility, uh, some civil discourse to, to Washington. Now, one of the things that you are being asked to do as a new member of Congress is clean up the mess from the last Congress, namely the partial government shutdown. Um, you are representing a swing district in Pennsylvania, previously held by Republicans. You obviously have a fair number of Republican constituents. So do you think your fellow Democrats should compromise with the president on the wall in order to reopen the government? So you're right, I do represent a very purple place in our country, and my community is 40% Republican and 40% Democrat and 20% uh, Independent. And with that being said, I was able to prevail with about 60% of our votes. And so clearly people across both sides of the aisle really liked the message that we were talking about, which was frankly a message of kitchen table issues, issues like making sure that we had access to quality and affordable health care, making sure we had great education and terrific jobs with dignity and equal pay for equal work were the messages that I was elected on to make sure that I bring the, that sort of sensibility to Congress. My community very much cares about national security, uh, very much con is concerned about making sure that our borders are secure and that we're able to be safe in our communities, but they actually also don't necessarily believe that a wall is the solution to that. So no, don't give an inch on the wall, is that what you're saying? Listen, I believe that we've already given some inches away in the sense that we're funding some parts of uh, border security, but I think it's also important that we're thinking about borders as more than just that southern wall. There are also airways and there are roadways and there are waterways as well. And it's really important that we're a safe and secure nation. But it, again, I don't believe that a, a solution such as a concrete wall is the answer. Chrissy Houlihan, new member from Pennsylvania's 6th District. Thank you so much and congratulations to you. Thank you. Pleasure being with you.